Hello there, my name is Jeff Bordoni, I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia. This week I'm going to introduce you to using the EQ plugin in Reaper. EQ stands for equalizer and it's a filter effect that's an integral part of the mixing process, keeping all the different sounds or tracks in balance within a given song. It's also used to remove or attenuate unwanted sounds and boost the sounds that we want to have in focus. I'm going to show you how to configure the EQ plugin to fun function similarly to how a physical mixing board's EQ section might. So I've got Reaper open here, and then to the left of it, I've got a little EQ section that replicates the physical mixing board. That it, um, and so first of all, I'm going to play just a little bit of this so you can hear the sound. So you can hear that the piano melody on top of a series of guitar chords on top of a drum sample. So let's do the effect on the EQ effect on the guitar part. So click the effects button. We're going to search for EQ. There's a bunch here, but the main one is re EQ. Uh, we're going to open it up. And then uh, you can see the main visualization, which is frequency on the x-axis and amplitude in the y. And then each of the individual EQ effects are little dots. Um, and they're also represented by these tabs at the bottom. So uh, the first filter we're going to use is a high-pass filter. And this, this type of filter lets high-frequency sounds through. And anything less than that chosen, fr a chosen frequency threshold will get heavily attenuated. So um, it's generally, on a physical mixing board, part of the input section. Um, and so here we can see it's at 75 hertz. So we're going to add a high pass filter here at 75 hertz. And the rate at which it gets attenuated is this 18 decibels per octave. Sadly, in Reaper, there's not an easy way to set that for the pass filters. Uh, but what I do know that this default bandwidth corresponds to roughly 6 decibels so, per octave. So uh, what I can do is actually add several high pass filters together at that same, same threshold. And that'll basically have the same effect because it'll be six for each of the three um, times three. <laughs> so um, you can see the slope changing there. Okay, so next on our mixer is a uh, low shelf um, down the bottom here is a low shelving filter, which is often used to give a boost to the bass. And the threshold here you can see is 80 hertz, and we can set the gain level to uh, cut by 15 or boost by 15 decibels. Um, and so let's just add that here to the next little dot here. So we're going to have a low shelf, um, and that's going to be at, uh, that's, what did I say, 80, 80 hertz. Okay, um, and we can kind of add a little bit of boost as we want, maybe something like 6. Okay, uh, next is the low mid um, filter, and this is a parametric filter. And here the frequency can be anywhere from 100 to 2,000 hertz. Um, and so we're going to add, in Reaper, when we run out of space in these tabs, we can add another band here. Um, and the, this type is called band. It's not called parametric or bell, like it's called elsewhere. Um, and we can kind of move this side to side within that range. And so here, we'll just kind of leave it somewhere in here. Um, and then we can make this go up or down as needed. And then unlike the physical mixing board, we can actually change the width um, of where that filter is actually being applied. The next is the uh, high mid-range EQ, which works simil similarly, and on this physical board, it can be used anywhere from 400 to 8,000 hertz. Um, and so let's just add another one here. Let's move this up near the top somewhere, um, and let's boost that up. All right, and then uh, finally we have our um, high shelving filter. And here, that's set at 12,000 hertz. So let's add another one here, um, high shelf. And let's put this at 12,000 hertz. All right. Cool. So uh, that should do it. Let's just play our music real quick with this effect in place. And you can see that kind of showing what's happening in that yellow dot. So. Um, and I can turn this on or off, or I can also in enable or disable individual points uh, separate into EQ tracks. Um, so uh, real quick, I can just save this guy here um, to be reused for later. And that'll show up amongst this list of presets. So anyways, that's all I have for today. Uh, I hope this was helpful getting started with the EQ plugin, and thanks for listening.